what is on your personal bucket list not related to harness racing? Um, I think I'd like to do some more traveling. I'd like to uh, see different parts of the world. Um, probably down under would be cool. Australia, New Zealand, and uh, maybe even the Great Wall of China. Who knows? I'd really, I really love fishing. Someday I'd like to go like away for a week and just fish like deep sea fish is really what I like. I'd like to drive a race car, a NASCAR, just around the track, just wants to see what it's like. I'd love to jump out of an airplane, so you know, maybe I'll do it with my kid in a few years. I don't know if this is a bucket list, but my wife Ashley and I are having a baby boy in August, and uh, looking forward to that. I'm going to have the millionaire's family with one girl and one boy, and uh, just to be able to truck them around to hockey tournaments and baseball tournaments and, and bring them to the farm and you know, get them jogging horses one day would be would be amazing and that's if I accomplish that and nothing else I'd be happy. I would love to go to uh, the Northwest Territories Yukon just to see it. Uh, my parents have been there and they said it was fantastic so I'd like to go travel up there Yukon Northwest Territories. Well I, I drove down to the East Coast this year and for two weeks and this year I plan on driving out to the West Coast and back by myself. Really enjoyed my East Coast trip looking forward to my West Coast trip so that's on my bucket list. And I have an owner that's uh, from Newfoundland, and I'm going to fly down with him this summer, and we're going to look around down there, so that's about it. Maybe go to Great Britain, see Dublin. See, I have some friends over there, some Scottish friends. That's about it. I like to travel. You know, I've, I've, there's lots of places I've never gotten a chance to see for, for one reason or other. I love to, I love to tour Europe. Um, you know, there's lots, I'm a bit of a history buff, and there's lots, uh, there's lots of history over through them European countries, so. Definitely skydiving. No doubt. I wouldn't mind going skydiving or riding a bull. Just once. <laughs> Completing the Tevis Cup, which is an endurance ride in California, and a trip to Greece. Uh, I want to go to Europe, to the Greek islands for a month. To get an RV and travel across, well, I, I, I travel all through BC on an RV in an RV one year. I've traveled all through Ontario and the Maritimes and I haven't gone coast to coast in the American, down, like just down through, not, not way down south, just through the Montanas, North Dakotas, through that way. I'd like to do that, go through to Oregon. And I'd like to do that every, every summer for a couple months and a couple years. Retire. <laughs> Retire from, from everything, I think. But uh, I don't know, we go to Florida every year and uh, we enjoy it down there. And come back home in the spring and we just I guess that's just kind of just slow down a bit I think really. I don't know I guess go somewhere warm in the winters. <laughs> uh, I just want to travel see more countries see more of the world. I've always wanted to uh, take a trip to like like I know this might sound funny but like a uh, like Africa or something and, and do like a, a safari like and see some of the wildlife and stuff like that and I've seen I watched some shows and stuff on like National Geographic and I always thought that that looked really interesting and um, I don't know if I'll ever get to do it but that's something I've, I've thought about for sure. I'd like to go and play in the World Series of Poker just play in all those events and try my luck with with all those guys. There's a few things on the bucket list number one to be skydiving I want to go skydiving and maybe this summer we'll get it done retire wealthy <laughs> it's uh yeah i i I'd, I'd love to uh i'd love to be able to just uh go to florida and uh just I, i'd like to retire down in florida it's, i think that'd probably be my main bucket list someday being able to retire i'd like to just basically just travel the world i'd like to see you know uh, you know a lot of europe that i haven't seen you know i've seen some but not much i'd like to go to australia maybe once and new zealand and uh yeah, those, I'd like to travel a lot. To visit Australia. <laughs> That's, that'd be it, yeah. I'd, I'd like to go to Australia and, uh, I'd, yeah, just see the country, so. I don't know, that's a tough question. There's uh, lots of things to do. Uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd be pretty scared, but maybe skydiving? I don't know, it'd be, it'd be a lot of fun, big thrill, but uh, if someone would have to push me out of the plane, I'd. <laughs> Probably uh, flying an airplane. I can't wait for my kids to be old enough that uh, instead of vacationing, we can travel and go places and experience it together, you know? That's a tough one. I, I want to see my daughter grow up. I want to see her succeed 
and I think that would bring me more happiness than anything. My bucket list is still, um, other than harness racing, it, it would probably have a little bit to do with it, but I'd love, and I'm going to with my wife, is travel the world and see Italy and France and, and Sweden and Switzerland and all those countries over in Europe. I'd go to Hawaii. Probably play golf in Hawaii. I'd like to travel, but I've got no time, so <laughs> it might not happen. <laughs> it would be to win a World Series of Poker bracelet. My personal bucket list would be to make sure my son Lucas gets raised without me screwing up. <laughs> make it to retirement. I'd like to go to New Zealand and Australia, I think. I'd like to do a little traveling. Uh, I just like to do a lot more traveling. Uh, I've never been to Europe. I'd like to go to Europe for a month. Like I said, Australia, New Zealand, just a lot of travel. Going to Normandy, um, you know, I'm a big World War II buff, I really think that that was the greatest generation, and uh, um, I actually train a horse for, for Roly Armitage, who is a veteran of World War II. He's actually going to Normandy in May, and uh, just just seeing parts of Europe where, where, where that happened, I think that would be uh, on my bucket list, and I'm, I'm scratching one off this spring. I'm going to Pebble Beach to play golf, so, so those are two big ones. I'd like to try skydiving. I went once with a, an instructor. Um, in Moncton, New Brunswick, and, and I, I really enjoyed it, but I'd like to try it. I'd like to try it by myself sometime. Tell you the truth, just spend time, uh, don't have grandkids yet, but my daughter's getting married, and I'd like to spend a lot more time with my kids and uh, hopefully have some grandkids and spend time with them. That's what I like to do. I, I don't know, just uh, live a long, happy life. It doesn't have to be anything special. Boy, I just said to my kids the other day, don't shed a tear when I go because I've done everything I've ever wanted to do in this life. So I really, I have no bucket list. It's I've done everything I've wanted to do and, and uh, it's been a great life.